Welcome back to the Quicksilver Pro. It is time to get the semi-finals underway. We're going to see last year's event champion, Felipe Toledo, out there in the red. The Brazilian has been on point, racking up big scores throughout the rounds. He's up against Matt Wilkinson, who's given us some of the best backhand surfing we've seen here at Snapper Rocks in recent years. Matt's going to be in the blue jersey. Should be a good fight. Matt Wilkinson seeking his another opportunity to claim his first championship to a win. Felipe Toledo, he's chasing his fourth CT victory at this event. And here's the thing, you know, today the, the name of the game is waiting for those waves that have that nice steep long wall, but Felipe is actually one of the few surfers left in the draw that he can take off in a super average wave and still manufacture a solid score. You can see right here, he's just got so much torque and whip. Wiry surfer, and he really springs out of his maneuvers. It's very rare that you see Felipe have to regain speed. He just flies out of his turns on tap with all that speed and goes right back to work. He's actually wiping speed off here. And uh, pretty cool. That was a reserved maneuver there for Felipe. Instead of going for the whip, he went into another hack. So a pretty solid start for him. Well, here goes Matt Wilkinson, the Australian from the central coast of New South Wales. Just taking his time at the start of this ride. And he gets the opportunity to unleash that backhand. He's got a lot of whip in these turns. A good section coming his way. And he belts it, climbs on the roof and gets a tiny float. And that would feel good because Matt Wilkinson had a nervous finish to his quarterfinal heat. He got the job done over Adriano de Souza, but that was a much better start to this heat going to be a great battle. Very different styles here. Obviously, Wilco's on his backhand, uh, which on your average day at Snapper Rocks is a disadvantage. Not today. Big open walls, and here we go, Philly. Drives off the bottom into this first section. Holds that rail. A long carve to get started. So smooth through those transition maneuvers. But needs this wall to stand up. Needs something vertical that he can really tap into. He's going to find some more energy down the line. Building speed. Look out for something big. He sets that stance. But just spins out of control on the landing. 25 minutes to go. And that's what we can look forward to. As Felipe. On the inside. Doesn't grab his board straight away. It was an awkward fall. And let's keep a camera on him. Let's cast back to Felipe here and see how he's going. Powering through the quarters to get their place in this semi-final heat. Let's see what goes wrong here. You can see there's a bit of rain. He's widening the stance. He's going to whip the tail towards the beach in the offshore wind. So everything's fine right here. Going to plan. There's that backwash right back into it. And he got really compressed, Ronnie. So, you know, when he squatted more than he anticipated, it looked like he kind of crunched his body into his abdomen. He might have almost, uh, he fell in front of his board. But we're throwing our attention now to Matt Wilkinson, who has just blasted the first section of this ride. And now Wilco is setting up for the inside track. Just staying with the foam, staying patient. And so that wave just burns out. Just trying to figure out what happened to him. You know, he got compressed, kind of got folded in half, but You'd rather him just have, maybe, maybe the nose of the board kind of bruised him in the stomach, something like that. That you could recover from. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It can be dangerous chatting with uh, our former world champ, commentator Martin Potter. He's had the nose of a board pierce his stomach before surfing the point breaks here on the Gold Coast. It hurts. So it hurts a lot. Nice couple of opening swoops there for Felipe. You know, he's definitely looking at a big score here, and he wants to finish it off. He's just all about showtime, so you know he has nothing in his mind other than something really big. There's the ramp. He sees it. Very fast rotation, but again, very unlucky that that had a big backwash when that lip hit. It bounced the board right back up into his feet. And out the back, Wilco. Big, whipping backhand snap from him. That is trademark. And if he's going to take down Felipe, He's going to need a long wall ahead of head him and unleash a series of those whips. And unfortunately, it didn't happen there. This year already, a perfect 10. Two waves in the 9-plus range. 
and also a throw away in the eight point range. He's back and on fire. Felipe had a look at that wave. Matt Wilkinson, though, was in a better position. So without priority, he's going to get another opportunity here. Building speed. And he knows that the first section got away from him. He kicks out. I wanted to see Felipe on that wave to, you know, try and see where he's at health-wise. You know, if he's going to surf normal, if he's going to look injured. He does look like he's in pain, Ronnie. He's in a great deal of pain. Now, with Felipe and Joel, that they really put the scale down. You know, they were ready for fireworks, ob obviously. But at the end of the day, they got it totally right, that heat. And um, here goes Felipe now. Felipe, he's big first turn. And we're getting our first glimpse of him since he injured himself on his previous ride. And again, it still looks like he is suffering through this wave. But he's setting up for something big on the inside here. So no major turns just yet. Let's see if he can light up this inside. Nice, smooth carve there. Leans on the rail. Has just looked a little bit tentative on this ride though. There's a little bit of the spark that we'd love to see. Nice little reverse. And maybe a confidence builder there. He's copped one, maybe in the leg, the top of the thigh, not sure. We're just speculating at this point in time, but Felipe, you can see he's in a world of pain. Yeah, that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, but I like the fact that he did manage to muster up just enough energy on that wave to get a good score. You know, there's some solid surfing on that. And look, he is uh, even hobbling, just getting on a the sled there. So, uh, you know, he, he suffered a, a pretty solid injury here. It's too bad. It's a, it's a guess, but maybe left thigh, upper thigh, maybe he's had a cork. Uh, looked just like he was sort of limping, not putting too much pressure on his left leg to me. But again, just speculating, we're trying to send Pete Mel into the lineup now to get a little bit more insight for you as we see the replay of Felipe. Great first turn, so smooth and lightning fast through that carve. Yeah, right there, he just crunched a little bit. You can see he grabbed that leg, so, you know, he's feeling it. And, uh, but what's amazing is, even though Felipe's injured right now, he's still ripped into a beautiful hack. Another one there, smooth carve. This one right here I really like, just kind of smooth cut back. And then, uh, you know, he's going to add just a little bit of spice to this wave right here with a tiny reverse, just picks the nose a little bit and spins it around. So, again, this should be the best score of this heat. Well, actually, you know, Wilco does have a 7.83. I'm not sure it's going to go that high. Felipe Toledo, a brave effort so far, still fighting through the pain, hurting himself earlier on a huge air reverse attempt. And that score came through for Felipe at a 4.33. So he's still after a 6.9. Matt Wilkinson fighting fit out there at the moment. Really? 4.3 for that? And that was a, a great compliment from Aki to Wilco, saying that he can kind of achieve that same advantage. Well, I was wrong about the incoming score from Felipe. Apologies for that. He had a 4.33 on his previous wave. That was the wave with the air reverse attempt. And he's just about to lock in a 7.1. And that gets him into the lead. So Matt Wilkinson now back in second position. And he is chasing a 5.44. Wilco's out there with priority. Medina in 2014, Slater did it a few times, 06, 08 and 11, Mick Fanning in 2007, Felipe Toledo trying to get his second victory here on the Gold Coast in as many years and get himself back into title contention and at the moment he's looking to drop a 6.18 to increase his lead over Matt Wilkinson. This wave just has a bit of a sleepy pace to it at the moment but starting to stand up on the inside, Felipe racing. And let's see what he can do here. He throws down a huge turn. And he had it. He had it on lock. A hundred percent, in my opinion, that's from his injury. Normally, he really stays over the deck of his board and committed to making those maneuvers. You can tell he's hindered right now. He didn't want to really sacrifice his body and kind of let that move go. Well, that was unfortunate because that would have been the turn of the heat. And we've seen... Some individual moves fetch some pretty good scores throughout the contest. This kind of reminds me of Sally Fitzgibbons in Fiji just going on to win the event, even though she punctured her eardrum. 
He is staying uh, extremely committed here. Uh, this is a huge effort from Felipe. There's a lot of people out there right now, Ronnie, wishing they could serve half as good as an injured Felipe. Still clean rail work. But this wave was uh, very flat at the start. So you could see him stomp on that tail. He's looking for that X factor, something to get some kind of points. He needs to accumulate them somehow. And here it is. See this lip line peer up? Boom, goes for the club sandwich. Oh. How much whip did he have in that thing? It looked like he was 95% done there and then just barely pearled at the end. And let's see what unfolds here. Matt Wilkinson with priority. Drives out onto the open face. And there is a solid hit. Almost catches the nose riding out of that maneuver though. Wasn't as clean as some of his earlier efforts. Let's see if he can correct it with some big, big moves on the inside. Climbing up onto the foam. Getting his board vertical there. So keeping the flow alive. Moving through to the inside with some speed. Just tags that section. Just transitioning nicely. Not a lot of big maneuvers on this ride, but he's only chasing a 5.44. Ross Williams, your thoughts? Yeah, I thought, I thought he got enough done there for sure to grab that score he needed. So now the pressure is going to be on Felipe. And, uh, you know, Bede, I just wanted to ask you, Felipe is one of those guys that almost has to surf 100%. You think with this injury, scaling it back a little bit, uh, will he choose different maneuvers? Yeah, I think so. Just he can't. It looks like he can't compress his uh, his leg for long enough. But that wave Wilco just picked off is an absolute beauty. It just walls up so nice for him on the inside. And uh, Felipe is definitely going to be looking for a score now. It's kind of distracting for Wilco with all this uh, energy on Felipe's injury. But he looks focused, doesn't he? Oh, for sure. That's the hardest thing when someone gets injured in your heat. You just it just takes you off your game. But Wilco put that to the side and and blew up on that wave and. He's just looking so sharp. It's, it's great to see. One and a half minutes remaining, and we're waiting on the scores to come through. Matt Wilkinson chasing a 5.44 from that last wave. The score's starting to come through for Wilco now, and it looks like it's going to be enough to get him into the lead. And whatever it is from Felipe, you know all his fans out there really hope it's something temporary because he's one of those guys that really moves the needle. He, you know, he produces some of the most exciting surfing, bar none, on tour as we see a judge's replay just trying to settle in on a score for sure you know in my eyes he got the 5.4 i'm just trying to see where the scale is set it's just dropped ross a 6.6 .6. so the judges giving matt wilkinson the nod and felipe now needs a 7.34 with just 20 seconds to go could matt wilkinson be on his way to his second ct final the hooter sounds and felipe after the hooter here making his way in and he is going to go over and congratulate wilco and i'm sure wilco's first question will be are you okay yeah that was felipe just won about a hundred thousand more fans right there that was insane he could have just all? put his head down and went in uh, true gentleman could have just made his way in and gone straight for the medical staff but quickly kicked out to congratulate matt wilkinson i think he knows how big this result is in the context of Matt Wilkinson's life. Wilco stated after his quarterfinal win that he wanted to leave the Gold Coast in a yellow jersey, and now he's going to get the opportunity to do that.